Hi, this is Ashish Gaurav. I did my B.Tech from IIT Khadakpur and Masters from ISI Kolkata. And in this video, we will talk about the challenges of getting into PGDBA. Now, before I begin, PGDBA definitely is a very good course. And this is a course which all aspiring data scientists must do if they can. But what are the challenges and why they would not be able to do this course? So let's look at them one by one. So the first is maths. Yes, you heard it right. For PGDB entrance exam, the major chunk of your questions come from mathematics. And in mathematics, what are the three strands which you need to focus on? The first challenge is your J mathematics. And I know a lot of you guys have like started working and you have touched your class 11, 12 books more than five, six years ago. So definitely if you go back to those books, you will have to do a lot of revision. Now the second is your undergrad mathematics. Now the thing over here is that there are few questions in PGDB entrance which requires more than class 11, 12 mathematics or more than J mathematics. Those are like the undergrad level mathematics questions which you need to be thorough with. Now, what is the next challenge in maths? The next challenge is the CAT mathematics. So if you are not preparing for CAT, definitely you will not be worried about the class 9-10 maths. And a lot of questions come from class 9-10 maths in PGDB entrance test, which is like for someone who is preparing for CAT, very easy. But if you're not preparing for CAT, it might be a challenge for you. So what are the challenges in maths? You have to again concur J maths. You have to go back to your undergrad maths. And you have to also look at the class 9, 10 level question maths for CAT level questions. Now, this is one big chunk of your challenge. Now, if you clear this challenge, then half of your battle in PGDBA entry is won. But what are the other two challenges? Now, these two challenges are also pretty crucial. But let's look at the next one. Interviews. Now, yes, this process of PGDBA selection has an interview as well. And you definitely need to come out all blazing in this interview. Now, why? The thing here is, let's say you're preparing for a course like MSQE or MSTAT or MTech. Now, the thing is, in these courses, the interview is very technical in nature and they are not giving a lot of focus on your presentation or your HR abilities. But in PGDBA interviews, it will be very similar to what will happen for an MBA interview. Plus, there will be a lot of crowd from the MBA side of the things. Maybe what I'm trying to say is MBA aspirants also appear for PGDBA because of the IIM tag involved in this particular course. But yes, they probably are ill-informed while applying to this course because this course is a kind of technical course and not really a managerial course. But still, you have to do what there is in the world. And there is the situation of MBA aspirants applying to this PGDBA course. So you need to be well prepared for interviews as well at par with the MBA aspirants. Now, this is a very big challenge because a lot of people who want to get into data science or analytics or maybe even mathematics or economics, for them, a major preparation hurdle is the technical understanding of the subjects about how to prepare for the written test. They are not really worried too much about the interviews because the interviews are technical in nature. So if you're preparing for the entrance test, most of your preparation for interviews are also done. But when you're preparing for an MBA admission process, then your interview process has a different kind of preparation. And that influences the PGDB interviews as well. Now, the other thing is there's a lot of misconception and rumors that only IITians or NITians get into PGDBA. Only they are allowed to get into this course. But I believe that that is something which is 
kind of like a rumor only and i would not be, like to believe that because i have seen at a lot of profiles of people getting selected to this course through linkedin and i believe that there is a good amount of people who have done their uh, undergrad from iits and as well as from non iits and so i do not believe that rumor so yes this is a kind of a challenge in the interview stage people believe that there are a uh, few problems while attending the interviews but if i have to tell you what are the real problems the real problems are that the mba aspirants get into this process and then they complicate the competition and also the interviews are a bit like mba interview style so it also creates a bit of challenge for people who are more uh, inclined towards the technical side of things let's talk about the next challenge fees yes this course is pretty expensive and it is similar to your mba course now the thing is that a lot of people who want to get into a technical uh, career who want to study a technical course data science analytics they are really not uh, prepared to pay a lot of money for their course because generally technical courses are not that expensive compared to mba course but yes the fees of this program is comparable to your mba fees last year it was around 24 lakhs for the whole course obviously if you're getting into a program which costs 24 lakhs you have to talk about the roe you have to understand whether you will be able to recover this kind of an expense pretty soon because yes you might look at the average salary and say that hey ashish the average salary for this course is pretty high but i am asking you how long do you want to uh, pay back the amis on of this education loan because i believe a lot of you guys are not really rich that you pay up front 24 lakhs you will have to take a loan or something like that so if you are going to repay back the loan for 5 to 6 years then probably this is a cost which you need to keep in mind while calculating the roi or while calculating the entry into this course so these are the challenges and i believe that if you master the maths challenge your 50% of challenge is concurred but these two challenges are not really small challenges as well you have to worry about these challenges as well now the reason i have made this kind of a video made this kind of a format is i want to inform you that yes pgdba is a very good course the very reputed course but you need to understand what are the challenges involved what are the hurdles involved and whether you are willing to get into this kind of an admission process with complete understanding of the challenges involved if you are new to this channel i have made a lot of videos on pgdba earlier as well so i will just link that playlist over here you can check out those videos from here and uh, do let me know your suggestions and your queries about pgdba or other data science courses in the comments below